Hello guys and welcome to my space. My name is Precious and you're welcome to my channel. If this is your first time on this channel, this is a place where we talk about growth, development, um, empowerment, encouragement and how we can make the best out of our lives, careers, relationships and purpose. Um, if this is something that interests you, please stay tuned. If you're a new subscriber, you're very much welcome back. And if this is your first time and you love what you say, please do well to like subscribe share and click on the notification bell so that you stay tuned to part of this community so today we're going to be talking about happiness um and how it affects our productivity let's get right into the video so um happiness is a state of euphoria excitement you know that comes that exists uh, in human beings in in human beings, you know, is an emotion. You can call it an emotion. You can call it a feeling. You can call it um, whatever you want to call it. But we all know what being happy means. So um, this is me in your face saying yes. Your state of happiness can actually improve your productivity. So this is me saying, in all you do, please do your best to stay happy. You deserve some happiness. You deserve to live a happy life. And these are just little tips that can help you to do that. First of all, please do appreciate yourself. You know, you're good enough. You are. You are beautiful. You are okay. No matter what um incapabilities or insecurities you might have, just know that everyone out there has a battle they are fighting. So. You know, cheer up and believe in yourself and know that you are good enough and you deserve to be happy. Secondly, please do not engage in unhealthy competitions. Looking over your shoulder, seeing what your neighbor is doing, seeing what your friend is doing. No, just, you know, stay on your lane. Know what you want to achieve in life and please do stay on your lane. Don't try to be so honest. Don't try to, you know, copy anything or force yourself into a path where you know that it's not meant for you. Um, That could actually and be very frustrating. Thirdly, please live a healthy life. If you're healthy, you'll be happy. Eat healthy, exercise. If you have online medical conditions, please go for your regular checkups. Um, if you are predisposed to certain conditions, check on your blood pressure, check on your weights, monitor yourself, do everything within your ability and capability to stay healthy. If you're healthy, you'll be happy. Another point, another little tip is please maintain positive relationships keep people around you that have a positive energy that encourage you that bring out the best thing you do not surround yourself with people that you are always going out of your way to please people that are always demeaning you making you look small making you um feel what less making you feel like you're not enough people you're always struggling to meet um their kada or where they've placed themselves please stay in your lane surround yourself with supporting people that are positive that are seeing the best thing that encourage you to become a better version of yourself also another tip that can help you to stay happy um please take care of your mind do not store up negative energy um let how to you know get rid of them you could you know go to um i will have a video on that that can help you get rid of negative energy when you get this off you could concentrate build make sure your mind is clear if you get angry um, sort it out if things are bothering you please process it and learn that you cannot solve everything in life you cannot solve everyone's problem you cannot be the solution to everybody choose your battles know what is meant for you and focus on the little you can do you know do everything possible to keep your mind healthy do everything possible to stay happy eat well you know get um, a breather when you need a breather you know take a break go for a vacation it doesn't have to be expensive it doesn't have to be the way you're thinking into your head do the little things you can do for yourself when you can you know you get old when maybe you get all those money that you want to get and you won't be able to do these little things again so yes if you're really happy and um, your mind is positively energized you'll be able to produce maximally you'll be able to do whatever you set your mind to do if you're gloomy and sad you can plan and plan for 100 days and get nothing done so why don't you you know go back and listen to these tips again apply them to your life and make sure you're living a positive a healthy and a happy life um continue on this happiness series because of course i've not exhausted it i've not even said much i've not even 
in those stated and it's not at all. We've not even started. But just to let you know that you know he's already getting interesting. So please, please prioritize your mental space, prioritize your, you know, positive. If you're in any group with any place that box you, doesn't, you know, give you that happiness that you deserve that always makes you feel sad please leave shut the door you know i see this if someone is irritating you even on social media it's not compulsory you don't have to follow everybody you can unblock the person for your peace of mind no hard feelings just make sure that your space is filled with positivity good energy and make sure that you yourself you're a source of happiness to your own self to your environment don't live your life full of bitterness regrets of the past you know, as I say, these are topics that we're going to unbundle in the next series. But just know that you deserve to be happy. You can be happy if you want to. If you put your mind to it, then it is very, very possible to maintain and achieve happiness. Thereby making maximum productivity very, very possible in our lifetime. Until I see you next time, please stay happy, stay blessed, and stay focused. Love you. See ya.